Hey guys, welcome back. So, um, notice anything different? That's right, new filming space, new lights, new tripod, new setup, new fuzzy backdrop that I can't stop touching. I've been getting so annoyed with how my videos look recently, so I finally bit the bullet. I bought some lights, I bought a backdrop, I now have full control of the lighting and everything like that, and I'm honestly so, so obsessed with how my setup looks at the moment, so let me know if you guys do want like a more in-depth YouTube setup video or something like that. As some of you guys will know, if you follow me on social media or if you've just been reading some of the comments in my videos, I was off ill for like the past three weeks or so with glandular fever. That shit hit me hard. I was literally asleep for like four days in a row, which was kind of great, kind of not great as well. I think this is like the first time in three weeks that I've first of all worn any kind of makeup and second of all sat in front of the camera and talked to you guys. So what's new? Let me know what's happened in your life over the past three weeks. Like I said, I've pretty much just been asleep for three weeks straight. But yeah, I thought I would just sit down with you guys, film a little makeup too. It's kind of like a glam spring summer makeup look. So if you want to see how I created this look, please stay tuned. Oh my God. Let's get some makeup on. So first of all, I'm going to be moisturizing my skin. This is the new Urban Decay Rehab Makeup Prep Hot Springs Hydrating Gel. I really like this. It's kind of like a bit of a base for me. I think you're just meant to use it as a moisturizer, but it doesn't have any oil, so it literally just feels like you're putting water on your skin, but it's really, really hydrating. So I'm just gonna kind of press that into my skin and rub it around a little bit. Go down the old neck. Yeah, I really, really like this stuff. I don't really think much of it at first, but since using it, I have noticed a difference in the way that my foundation sits on my skin. I'm then just gonna go in with a little bit of lip balm. This is the Urban Decay Lip Love. It's just what I have right next to me. I like it. Tastes a bit like coconut milk or something. Then just gonna prime my skin using the Smashbox Priming Water. Don't know if this actually does much, but I like how it smells. And I just... Smells good. Then I'm just gonna get a damp booty blender. Uh, I'm just gonna press that into my skin just to make sure it's all sunk in and not just sitting on top of my face. Seriously, what is this hair? Then I'm gonna fill in my face using the NYX Pore Filler Primer. I'm just gonna put that just on my nose and kind of down the center of my face. I'm then gonna take my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I have this one in the shade two, I think it is. Yeah, two natural and it's nearly running out, so I'm gonna need to pick up another one. You can get this on Beauty Bay if you guys were looking for it. It's a really full coverage, but still kind of dewy foundation, and it's nice and yellow. I was gonna get my Beauty Blender, but I think I'm actually gonna take this Makeup Revolution Oval Brush, just to kind of blend it around my face, maybe? Yeah, I'm changing my mind. Okay, I'm gonna get back in with my Beauty Blender and just blend all of that out. Get it right into the scalp so everyone thinks you're naturally tanned, but secretly, you're pale as fuck. Is that me or does that look really yellow? Looks normal in person. On the viewfinder, I look like a Simpson. Oh my god, this fly. Mate, you're gonna get squished in a minute. So I think I'm gonna be a little bit extra with my brows today. I have not one but two Charlotte Tilbury brow gels. I have one tinted and yeah, this one is the clear one. So I'm just gonna go through my brows with that one first. Good brow gels, but bloody expensive. And I'm gonna leave that one for a minute, I think. Am I? Mm, no, we'll use it now. This one is in the shade Cara. It's like a dark brown. And I'm gonna go through the front of my brows with that just to kind of spike them up a little bit. Go on, go into that light. Go on, I dare you. For brows, I'm just gonna fill them in with my dip brow. And what I actually like to do now is I take the product onto my brush and then I put it in the lid and I really take off the majority of it so I can get the brush super, super thin. So I'm mostly just putting that through my arch just to kind of hide my arch a little bit and then I'm just bringing it down in a straight line. And I'm also just gonna go under my brow a little bit as well. I'm actually then gonna carve my brows out a little bit because I do want them to look extra sharp today. So I'm just gonna go in with the MAC Studio Finish Concealer and just kind of outline them a little bit. I'm then gonna take one of those teeny tiny beauty blenders and I'm just gonna blend all of that out a little bit. Mm. <laughs> oh, I got post. Who is this from? Tangle Teaser. Yeah, boy, fix this crazy hair of mine. Some glittery stuff. 
nail polishes. It's a nice color. And some little tangle teasers. Thank you guys. These are the most pointless sponges in the world, but they are so cute. Brows are on. I'm then gonna conceal using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. What can I say? Some things never change. And I'm just gonna use my finger. I find the best way to use this is just with your finger. I find brushes can kind of make it look a little bit streaky, a little bit patchy. So finger is best. So let me know what you guys think of the new backdrop. Makes life a whole lot easier with editing for me because before I was literally, like the light was changing constantly because I had my window at the front as well as lights. So the light was always changing. So I could never have my videos looking the same. And sometimes when it's sunny, it would be too bright. Sometimes it'd be too dark. So the fact that I've got like constant light now means I can film whenever the hell I want. I'm actually then just gonna take my brush that I use my pomade with and just get under my lip and kind of blend that out. This is just something that I like to do all the time. It makes my lips look a bit fuller and it kind of stays on better than like a bronzer or contouring powder would. I'm then gonna use an old favorite of mine. This is brand new and I swear there is nothing quite like a brand new Age Rewind concealer. So I'm gonna do the majority of like my highlighting and stuff with this. Bring it into my nose. Slim that bad boy out. And then go back in with my sponge. Next up, I'm gonna do a little bit of cream contouring using the NYX Foundation Mixer in the shade Olive. And I think I'm actually gonna take my mini beauty blender and pop it on my face with that. Yeah, that does the job. Blend that in with a big sponge. See, that little tiny sponge, it is literally useless. But I wanna use it because they're not cheap. They're like 15, 20 quid for two. So I wanna try and use it as many times as I can because otherwise I've just wasted like 20 quid for nothing. So I think what I'm gonna do soon is another like Q&A random facts about me video or something. So leave a comment down below or I think I may just do like a pinned comment that you can kind of reply to. If you have any questions, if there's anything you want me to talk about, please make me feel like I'm popular. Iconic London Illuminating Drops in Original. The other ones are very, very pale. These are the ones I've been trying to get my hands on for ages. Cult Beauty now stock them and they sent over the original for me. So this is like my first time trying on my face. If you guys haven't seen these before, I'm sure you have, but like what the hell? They are so glowy. So I'm just gonna pop that on my cheekbones. I hope this isn't too dark for me. Nope, looks pretty good. They also do a deeper one now. So this is the original. And then they do one that's lighter, which is the one that I've tried before. And then they do one that's a little bit deeper. Mmm, look at that glow. Oh, ah, mmm. Do a little bit of highlighting with the nose. And let's work it up here as well. Let's do it on our shoulders as well. YOLO. A few of you guys have asked me if I prefer these or the Cover Effects drops. They're actually really, really similar. I think the Cover Effects are more expensive. I think you get around the same amount of product, but I think personally the cover effects have better colours because they have like six colours so you can kind of pick whichever sort of shade you want but I am really liking this one. Look at that shoulder and you're blind and you can't see. I don't think my shoulder has ever looked so popping. Shoulder goals. I'm then going to do a little bit of kind of baking, kind of not. I'm kind of over the whole baking trend. I find that it makes me look a little bit too matte but I still do bake, but not as thick. So I'm gonna take some powder on the Zoeva highlight brush. Ollie stole this. I have never used this brush before. And I found it in Ollie's drawer. He'd been using it to like clean his computer parts or something. And I'm like, out of all the brushes, you stole the highlight brush that I've never used before. So I gave it a good clean and I'm gonna use it for powder today, I think, because it's a nice size for under the eyes. So I'm just using the Lottie London Stay All Day and I'm gonna kind of Pack a little bit of powder from the outer inwards. So it does kind of bake, but not so I'm looking like I have a crap ton of cocaine under my eyes. Just like a small dusting of cocaine. Also, on recommendation, I did pick up the Rimmel Loose Powder. I don't know if I like it. I did try to kind of bake under my eyes with it. Is it not a baking powder? I'm a little bit scared to use it again because it really did F up my foundation. Um, how do you guys use this? Because everyone says it's amazing and I picked it up, but I wasn't in love. So let me know how you guys use it. Again, I'm gonna try and make some use out of this stupid little sponge and I'm gonna take MAC Soft Ochre. 
soft oh grrr, and just pack that over my lid so much easier doing it this way and plus I can't fit my finger into the pot because of my nails and then whatever's left over on my brush I'm just going to go over my lid with that just to kind of blend it out a little bit more and also set it in place with any powder that's left on there to contour I'm going to use this big ass NYX fan brush and I'm going to be going in with a NYX contouring palette taking this shade just here this one is in number six I think I don't know it's this kind of cool tone brown I'm going to chisel out my cheekbones a little bit so I'm gonna use another MAC product. I feel like I'm loving MAC today. This is the MAC Bronzing Powder. I wanna get my hands on Give Me Sun, but I have this one and I've used it a few times, but I don't ever like remember using it. It's just the matte bronze bronzing powder. So I'm gonna take the F42 brush from Blank Canvas Cosmetics. I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzing on the old face. And I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that contouring powder that we used before and get that under my nose shorten my septum a little bit and why not let's chuck some under my lip again as well i feel like i haven't worn makeup in weeks now because i've been ill so i'm making up for lost time here and just chucking three weeks worth of makeup on my face at the same time next let's highlight so same as usual azoeva luxe powder fusion if you guys haven't tried this brush for highlighting it is the best i much prefer it to like fan brushes and stuff like that and for highlighting today i'm going to be using the revolution ultra pro glow and i think it was that shade that i fell in love with last time yeah looks about right so let's dot it on the end of my nose i swear i will never get bored of putting highlighter on my face and it's crazy because i saw a video of myself like a few years ago highlighter was like not a thing back then a lot of my favorite highlighters are kind of like becca anastasia that sort of thing and they're not cheap this is cheap so i definitely recommend you pick that up I'm then going to spray a little bit of that with the Urban Decay All Nighter just to kind of set my skin in place and make it all kind of melt down a little bit. And then for eyes, I'm going to be using my Makeup Geek Shadows. I've swatched these, but I still haven't tried them on my lids, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I don't know all the names. I feel like this one is like, yeah, Vanilla Bean. So I'm going to set my lid with that one there. I have these in my Pro Artist uh, Freedom Palette. These are like the magnetic ones that you can get. They're like... Five pounds, I think, and they work really, really well with the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Next, I'm going to go in, I believe this is Tiki Hut, maybe. Oh, Tiki Hut. See, I'm getting good at this. And I'm going to take, I'm just using a tapered blending brush from Zoeva. And I'm going to buff that just into the crease to start off with. Let's zoom you in. Mm -hmm. Then, I'm going to go in with, I think this is Chickadee. I think. I'm going to believe in myself here. And... The flight is back. So I'm going to lightly pack that all over my lid to start off with. And I'm then going to go in with this shade, which is Morocco. And pack that on the outer corner for a second. Not worrying too much about blending just yet. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush and go back in with Tiki Hut. And I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line quite a bit with that. So I'm going to really pack it on so it deepens it a bit. Liking that so far. Then I think I'm going to take... Yeah, another pencil -y brush. Uh, I'm going to go in with one of the shimmers. Which ones do we go in with? Could do this. Could do this one here. I don't remember what it is. Will that ruin it? I feel like that might ruin it, but we'll try it anyway. So I'm going to take some of that and I'm going to pop that on the inner corner and kind of bring it in. I think that's actually worked out quite nicely. We've created a little sunset eye. Then I'm going to go in with my clean fluffy brush and I'm going to take this shade here. I think it's called Rapunzel. It's like a nice highlighting shade. And I'm going to pop that on my brow bone. Actually, I've changed my mind. I'm going to go back in with my highlighter from the Makeup Revolution palette and pack that on. It's just a little bit more metallic. And again, in a corner as always. And then I'm just going to quickly line my waterline with the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Liner. This one's just in a nude shade. Just kind of open my eyes up a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. I haven't used this one before. I have a lot of other similar ones, like this one from Rimmel, this one from NYX. I think the only two I have, um, but this one is really, really creamy. For mascara, I'm just going in with the L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll. I'm just going to chuck some of that on my top and bottom lashes. Not too much on the top because I am going to be putting falsies on, which I haven't done in ages, so that could be interesting. 
For lashes, I'm going to be using my Giselle ones from Huda Beauty. I really, really like these. Then I'm gonna go in with some of my Duo Glue, we'll whack that on. So whilst my lash glue is drying, I'm gonna go in with my lips. This is the Essence Lip Liner and In The Nude. I picked this up the other day, I've tried it before, I just have no idea where mine is. It's just like a very standard nudie shade. I'm not feeling this liner today. Huh, normally I like this one. We're doing a liquid lipstick anyway, so no big deal. Okay, I think my glue is just about dry, I'd say. And let's chuck these on. These lashes are testing me today. I literally just spent the past quarter of an hour trying to stick these lashes to my eyeballs, but we got there in the end. Okay, so for lips, I think, I mean, these colors are pretty much identical. I think I'm gonna go with the Makeup Geek one. This is in the shade Beach Bunny. I've been really, really liking like corally, peachy lip colors lately. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, so I just went and fixed my hair and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray some all nighter on my face. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Just a little bit of spring, summertime glam. Do let me know what you think of this look in the comments section down below and let me know your thoughts on the backdrop. I've got to say, I'm loving the way my new lighting is making my highlighter pop. As always, if you did like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I post every other day. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.